So just explain to us in terms of uh, what we're seeing here, if we are talking about a more aggressive phase in terms of this investigation. We are, as, as members of Congress return to Washington uh, today, we're seeing a, uh, an expect, we're expecting an acceleration of, of witness testimonies, perhaps subpoenas, perhaps interviews behind closed doors, not just from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, but the three congressional committees that are also connecting their own investigations. So it's not just about getting more information. From your article, you suggested that this is about magnifying conflicts, that they actually want to appear to be playing people off. At some point, then someone breaks and provides them perhaps with information that they, they don't already have. Is, is this what we're looking at here? That's, that's certainly some of the uh, perceived strategy uh, and who will break and who fears who will break and uh, is, is part of the game, but also and part of the, as part of that is the, some of the confusion over agreements between one legal team with one committee and then another committee's efforts to get that same information and whether that previous agreement uh, would allow that. So it's kind of a Rubik's Cube when you have this many ongoing investigations talking to some of the same people. We suggested there that we may see a return of James Comey as well to, to testify on Capitol Hill. What more can you tell us there? Well, this, this uh, would come after uh, reports that uh, the president and, and uh, uh, some associates had, had created a memo of their own about the reasoning behind uh, firing Cuomo before it was intercepted and, and scrapped for another memo. So uh, perhaps some more insight on the discussions between the former FBI director and the president himself or, or, or other aspects of that firing. Also, Which, of course, comes under the rubric of obstruction to some people, whether or not the president was obstructing the investigation.